Hi, my name is Sam Klempner. I'm a GI medical oncologist at Mass General in Boston. So the question about what to do with a positive ctDNA after the completion of curative intent therapy, in this case adjuvant therapy, is an open question for the field. It's a really uh, nerve-wracking situation for patients to know that we have a test that has a very high predictive uh, ability um, and a poor prognostic feature. So it informs us that the patient is at a higher risk of recurrence after they've finished their adjuvant therapy. We don't yet have large randomized data to understand exactly how to manage this situation clinically. Certainly these patients are at a very high risk of recurrence and it's tempting to think about introducing delayed adjuvant or early metastatic therapy in this clinical scenario. And that's exactly the question that several ongoing clinical trials are starting to address. Uh, for example, there's a trial entitled ACT-3, and this is this exact situation. So after the end of adjuvant therapy for colon cancer, uh, patients with a positive test are essentially offered two strategies. One is surveillance, which would be standard of care, and two is uh, ctDNA directed therapy. So for example, if the patient is positive, they could get chemotherapy. If they're positive and they have a known genotype, for example, BRAF or MSI high, they could get molecularly directed therapy. So I think the answer to the clinical situation is we don't know. Uh, this is an exact pu patient who should be strongly considered for clinical trials, so we can answer this question as a team. Uh, but right now, it's a situation where we know the patient is at high risk of developing ultimately recurrent disease, but we don't yet have randomized data to tell us exactly what to do.